Hi there, my name is Daniel Flint and today I'm going to be giving you a beginner's lesson in using the R programming language. If you're an ecologist, R is going to become a powerful important tool in your work and studies. To begin, we need to download the software. Now there are two programs you can use to code in R. The base R GUI or R Studio. The one you decide to use is your preference and you will soon see that what I teach you today is transferable to both with no change in the syntax the syntax being how you type your code. The base R GUI is robust and usable across all operating systems. It is the only way to use R on some supercomputers with limited OS's. If you ever need to work with very large datasets, R base GUI is the one to use. It is important to be familiar with base R though as not every computer will have access to R Studio. R Studio is however a lot more user friendly and allows you to write a script in the same window as the R console. But to do any programming at all, we need to download base R. To do this, go on to rproject.org and download the software. If you want to follow me in RStudio, download the software from rstudio.com. To begin, I'm going to introduce you to Base R. This is the console where you can enter your code. For example, we can type 1 plus 1 and the console will output 2. We can also subtract, divide, and multiply in the same way. R will also understand certain expressions, such as less than and more than, here showing us that 2 is less than 4, and logic operators, such as the equals to or not equals to operators. We can also use logic gates such as AND and OR gates, when using an AND expression, represented by two ampersands, R will give us a true reading if the two values each side are true, and a false if they are not. An OR operator, represented by two pipe symbols, will report a true as long as at least one side of the operation is true. But as with any coding language, we need to assign variables. Using the assign operator, I can assign a number to a string to make things easy to understand. For example, create my variable a and assign it the value 5. I can then create another variable b, assign it the value 10. I can then create a new variable c, which is given the value of a plus b. And by typing each variable into the console, I can get r to display the value assigned to that variable. I can also assign a string to a variable or an expression to a variable. So that's the very crux of r getting used to assigning and interacting with variables. Experiment with variables using functions and see what you can achieve. Now there are too many functions in R for me to mention here um, and you shouldn't really try to remember them all. All you need to know is that they're there and all you need to do is do a quick Google search and that will teach you how to use them. So that's all for this video. Next time I'm going to show you how to use vectors, data frames and how to interpret your own data in R.